One quarter remains in this women's basketball tournament of season 76 of your UAAP. This is game three, BLSU on top by 13. The biggest lead of the game, 53 to 40, and this is not the way you want to start the fourth quarter if you're NU. Well, whether that was the fault of Andrea Tonk or the, the fault of the passer, no? you know that communication will have to be really vital here in the fourth quarter. Number two, Anton, is that how they're doing to stop. Now, what what uh, NU has to do to stop the fast breaks of, of uh, De La Salle University. And number three, let's talk about the press break. The press break is uh, something uh, very important for Coach Patakino. They've got to lessen on their dribbles. They've got to know where the spots are. They have to be able to attack the, that uh, LaSalle press and go for their early, early offense. That time, NU successful in breaking the LaSalle press. There was a foul away from the ball. DLSU outscoring NU in the third quarter, 23 to 11, but it has been the turnovers that has killed NU. 20 turnovers so far. Make that 21 because they turned the ball over to start the fourth. LaSalle only with 15. And look at this, points of turnovers, 11 for De La Salle and only two for National University. So LaSalle really capitalizing on those 21 turnovers of NU. Actually make it 22 after that last turnover here. Ano, meron mga nagtatanong dito. Ito ba raw assistant coach ni Coach Pat? Eh, kapatid niya. No, that's Coach Paul Du. <laughs> they're, they're teammates actually, you know? One of the star players of, of uh, University of the Philippines before, no? Si Buchoy. Coach Buchoy Du. You talked about the fast break points a while ago, Coach Alan Lasal with nine and you just two. That was going to be another mismatch right there, but good timing on the slight push. Konting gulang lang. Pinakita nito si Camille Ramos. Still a big 13-point lead for De La Salle. Something that Annie was able to do in game number two. Ito namang De La Salle ang uh, gumawa dito. Is there now a big fourth quarter run? from National University Lady Bulldogs. That's what they need to come up with if they want to attain their first ever women's basketball crown. But a steal comes right here. Trisha Piatos, they have the numbers. Inside pass, Miller off. She's gonna have nightmares about that shot if LaSalle goes on to lose this game. Abriam with a hook shot. You know, advantage the National University on the points inside the paint. Something that they have gone to. That's a floater that was challenged, but definitely there was contact down low as Arabaka will take these two free throws. Arabaka has been so aggressive in this game. And the Sal will take it. Better than her just shooting eight times which is what she did in game number two. LaSalle trusting their best player. Sabi ni Christine Abriam, body bump lang yun eh, no? <laughs> body bump lang yun eh. LaSalle continues to press. Bernardino having difficulty dribbling that basketball. Tonko able to draw a foul on Mineron. And they have silenced Andrea Tonko here in this game after a, almost Perfect ball game in game number two with 23 points. Eight out of, out of nine from the field. Three out of three from three-point range. Now she's only got five points with only eight and 27 remaining in this ball game. And that was only her first point since the first half. Talking about this sophomore point guard right here, Andrea Tonko. Nilo Campo of National University. Missing on that last free throw was Andrea Tonko. Abaka nearly losing control of the basketball. Piatos wisely deciding not to shoot with her squad on top by 12. Menetres 
Miller on, jumper. Santos. Oh, Santos. Well, she's going to be a big story here in game number three. Her rebounding has just been excellent. That's why we're calling her the Spider Woman. Grab it from out of nowhere. Itong si Cas Santos. And now 14 point lead, another turnover on the part of National University. Somebody will really have to step up. We're talking about the leadership, maybe of uh, Andrea Tonko. This is now the biggest lead of the game for DLSU. Almost another rebound by Cassandra Santos that time. This is a good timeout right here by coach Patrick Aquino. NU is on the ropes with 7 minutes and 36 seconds remaining here in the fourth. 